I don't think you want to do that, Mr. Jensen. Disengage lockdown, and whatever demons this station contains are likely to come crashing out on us. Afraid to die, Darrow? We're just unwilling to face what you've done. Oh, I know what I've done. Believe me. I take no pleasure in it. And yet you still did it. I did what had to be done. Twenty years ago, I gave the world augmentation technology. I thought I was giving it a bright future, but instead I gave it the means to destroy itself. No law, no UN regulation was going to fix that. People are dying out there. Hundreds of thousands of people driven to the brink of insanity because of you. I had to convince the world. Before today, people believed we should steal fire from the gods and redesign human nature. But human nature is the only thing we have that gives us a moral compass and the social skills we need to live in peace. Destroy it, and you destroy our very species. Don't paint yourself a savior in this. What you're doing is insane. Is it? When this is done, the Illuminati won't be able to control men and women like you as they had planned from the inside out. No one will be able to use the technology I invented to make others into beings they desire. Something we both know has happened already. You think you're Frankenstein? Killing his own monster? Actually, Mr. Jensen, I prefer to think of myself as Daedalus, watching helplessly as his child crashes into the sea. I'm ending this. Now. You can't. The signal is being generated from the broadcast center at the base of this facility. Pancea's security system has been programmed to protect it, and it will kill you before you even get close. You designed that system, Darrow. You can tell me how to shut it down. But I won't. You think what I'm doing is extreme. You simply don't understand. For humanity to survive beyond this century, it must abandon ill-conceived notions about transcendence and embrace change. But for that to happen, the hard lesson must be learned. Blood must be shed. think humanity needs to be punished, is that it? Pain is the only thing people understand? By the time this is over, there will be no humanity left to embrace your change. The stress and horror you forced us to live through will have ripped it out of us. I... I knew there would be casualties, but I thought, over time, surely the human spirit can recover. Even as I listen to your words, I realize a cruel truth. No one else has the vision to see what I've seen, the will to do what I have done. You're all too weak, judging but never acting. None of you have the moral courage to see this through to its conclusion. Well, so be it. Convince yourself you're right, but whatever moral high ground you're standing on is nothing but a stack of innocent victims. You're trying to justify genocide. All your talk about ethics and ideals doesn't mean a damn compared to that. You think my methods are inhuman, Mr. Jensen? Don't you see? I created people like you. I made it possible for you to happen. If fate had dealt me a different hand, then perhaps, perhaps neither of us would be here. Isn't it obvious how fate is now conspiring to overtake us both, to grind us beneath her wheels? We must see this through, lest people like you continue to evolve and destabilize society.
like me? People like me? You're not interested in saving humanity, Darrow, no matter how loud you shout it. This is about jealousy, pure and simple. Everything you're doing today is in service to your wounded ego. Because you can't stand anyone leaving you behind. I... I never said that! Mr. Jensen, please! You and I, we're two sides of the same coin. I could have been you if it weren't for this damned blood in my veins. But I was cheated by my own DNA. Cursed to become a cripple. And I am not the only one. As long as this technology exists, mankind will continue to divide. Help me make us all equal again. about saving the world, try to justify it. But deep down inside, you're nothing more than an angry child. Spiteful, full of hate, envious and bitter. How petty is that? Petty? I was betrayed by my own genetics, ruined by my own flesh. What right do you have to condemn me, to curse me? All I ever wanted was to build something good, Something magnificent. And now, there's so much blood. So much blood. I... I will give you what you want, Mr. Jensen. Codes to shut down Panchea's security system. But you'll still be in danger. Much of the system is self-determining. And lethal. When you see it, maybe then you'll understand. The technology I created will not be the future any one of us desires. Please, help the world understand that. Codes should help you shut down the Hyron project, Panchea's security system. When you see it, you will understand. There is no room for this technology in the world. Richard, the lockdown's disengaged. I'm heading back to the hangar to see if those blast doors are open. Have you been able to raise anyone? I'm picking up several glimmers, but there's too much interference. I... I think you're... on your own, Jensen. Careful there, Francis. You almost sound like you regret that.
not real, not real.
way. Hasn't there been enough fighting? You seem relatively normal, Nishbar. All things considered, yeah. You okay? Thankfully, I was able to barricade myself in here when things got out of control. So, is it safe to come out now? No. The rest of the station is still under siege. You better stay here until help comes. In the meantime, is it possible to download Praxis software here? Yes, of course. No damage was done to the computers. See for yourself. I will remain here, where it's safe. If you need help, or get word of help, please come back. away. Hasn't there been enough fighting? You are back again for downloads? Or something else, maybe? I will remain here, where it's safe. Just let me 
Thank <laughs> you. 